Hello and welcome back to another uh, painting video. I almost said watercolor because most of my paintings are in watercolor, but today we're going to be working with acrylic. That being said, if you only have watercolor, this definitely can be replicated with watercolor with some slight modifications, uh, which I will be pointing out throughout this video. So uh, if you don't have acrylic paint, you can still follow along. The first thing that you want to do is using a fine tip marker or a black pen, just draw a concave line stretching from the left to the right horizontally, and this is where our stockings are going to be hanging off of. Then you can go ahead and grab a pencil and just roughly sketch out your stockings. Uh, and you want to make sure that the top of each stocking is about a quarter to half a centimeter away from the black clothesline that you drew earlier. And this just allows our um, little, um, I forget what those are called, clothespins. It allows the clothespins to overlap with the stocking as well as the clothesline. Then you can go ahead and start filling in your stockings with whatever colors that you would like. So I am using a variety of Christmas colors, a lot, a lot of reds and greens, um, and mixing different shades and whatnot. Um, but you can choose to use whatever colors you would like. Now, the first modification if you are using um, watercolor is when you're filling in the top portion of each stocking, you want to make sure that you leave two notches um, white because this is where your clothes pins are going to go. Uh, in a lot of the colors that I'm using, like the dark greens, watercolor won't show through on top of that whereas acrylic paint is much more opaque so I can just paint over it with a lighter color of acrylic paint and it will still show through. Watercolor doesn't do that unfortunately um, so just make sure you leave two white notches uh, for those clothes pins to uh, attach I guess to the stocking to make it look like they're hanging. The other modification that you'll have to do is to leave the toe and the heel part white as well, uh, which is actually what I did with my acrylic stockings as well, though I didn't have to do that because acrylic paint is a lot more opaque than watercolor. But um, if you want to have a separate heel and toe section like most of my, actually all of my stockings do, then you will have to leave those parts white so that you can uh, paint them whatever color, desired color that you're choosing. So you saw that with the, the yellow stocking, I did paint it a solid yellow and then I painted over it with red watercolor, uh, sorry, red acrylic paint and uh, that obviously you probably actually would get away with uh, using watercolor as well just because red is uh, darker than the yellow so it would show through but it wouldn't work on the dark greens for example. So once you're happy with all of your stockings, you can go ahead and paint in the clothes pins. So like I said, this is going to work if you're using acrylic paint because it'll, it'll show through on the darker um, colors. But if you are using watercolor, make sure to leave those two notches white so that you can paint into those notches and have clothes pins that are visible. This next step is completely optional, but I think it makes the whole thing look a lot more fun and even animated. You can take a black uh, fine tip marker or a black pen and just outline all of your socks, all of the clothes pins, and all of the details within the socks. So the heels, the toes, the kind of top fl fluffy part of each sock. And you can even add other lines, dots, and details onto each stocking just to vary them up and add extra detail. Finally, you can take some white acrylic paint and add some additional details. So I added some dots and lines and snowflakes on some of my stockings. This is definitely optional. You don't have to do this, but I do like that it adds another level of detail. That's about it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, check out my other tutorials, and I will see you in next week's video.